Hey everybody, I'm George and welcome to this uh, very first NumPy tutorial I'm going to make uh, for Python. And in this tutorial we're going to talk about uh, what exactly uh, NumPy is, an introduction, and we're going to do some basic example to understand the mechanics of uh, NumPy. So, uh, what exactly is NumPy? NumPy is like this um, core package, this fundamental package according to scipy.org um, for scientific uh, computing in Python. And basically what NumPy allows you to do is that uh, you can handle uh, multi-dimensional arrays and uh, complex arrays so you can uh, handle some data and you can later use that data so you can uh, plot functions or you can do some statistical analysis or whatever you would like to do with uh, this data but basically what it uh, allows you to do is that, con it, it, is that it allows you to contain this data inside that, an array object with uh, more advanced functions so for example the first thing that you will need to do is obviously to install uh, NumPy. You can install it in Ubuntu. Uh, just type in sudo apt get install and type in Python NumPy. Just like that. So that's uh, for you to know. Um, however, we're going to be working on the Python console. So I'm just going to type in Python and I'm entering the console right now. Now, the first uh, now the first thing that you're going to do inside the Python console is obviously to install to import uh, NumPy. So you can import it just like that from NumPy import everything. So you can have access to all the functions that NumPy uh, will provide you. And uh, we're going to create a basic array so we can see how uh, NumPy works. Now we're going to create a variable called data and this uh, variable is going to be equals to a range which which is a numpy function that allows you to create a simple array for example an array that will have 10 elements so i will create a simple array that will goes uh, from okay i i type in date that was wrong okay that will go from 0 to, to 9 because these are uh, the first uh, 10 elements uh, starting from 0 so that's what a range basically do and um, what you have over here is uh, not a normal array from python this is a numpy array and it is called nd array so if we type in type and then we type in data you will see that the type of this object is a numpy dot nd array object and this is the one that will have a, a, a more functions so you can handle uh, this array you can slice it uh, reshape it so that's basically what we're going to do right now and uh, you can also access some uh, properties of of, of this uh, array for example if you type in data dot size you will see the size that is uh, really natural natural for, by the way um, if you type in data dot uh, for example um, and dimensions will say one because we have only one dimension in this matrix. Um, that means this is a one-dimensional matrix. Uh, you can uh, reshape this so you will have a multi-dimensional um, matrix. Uh, you can also type in, for example, data dot data type. That's uh, D type for short, and it will tell you. Uh, the type of data that you're holding inside this array which is uh, basically integers uh, of 64 bits um, that's what you can see over here these are not floating numbers these are just uh, basic integers uh, but we also can have uh, uh, doubles and all that kind of stuff uh, floats and well that kind of, of data and um, uh, you can also see the shape of this uh, array for example if you type in data dot shape uh, the shape will be really simple. What this means is that you have uh, 10 uh, elements inside one um, one row for, for saying or so. Uh, that's what you have over here. But you can reshape this so you will have uh, more like a matrix. And uh, what you can do with that, you can example, uh, for example, type in data dot reshape and go ahead and type in 5 comma 2. And you will get this uh, matrix over here, which is a uh, difference. You can see that now we have five rows and two columns. Uh, if that, if you would like to see that la as a matrix, and you can store that in another variable. So I'm going to type in matrix equals data dot reshape 
5,2 and if you see the matrix that's my array now it's exactly the same de data you can see that the the size is the same but you will see for example that uh, the number of dimensions for example you will now have two dimensions this is like uh, the columns and or the number of elements uh, for each row well that's how I see these are like rows and we have two dimensions or two columns and the shape will be different for example matrix dot shape the shape will be five uh, comma two and this means that you have uh, f like uh, five rows and two columns so that's uh, a form of seeing of seeing it like a table and why do you need to have to well you need to have this uh, this way because you can then handle this data for plotting uh, uh, more data or you can use it um, for uh, making some uh, stati statistical calculations or for wh whatever purpose you have uh, within the, the scientific computing that you're going to do well this uh, data will be handled a lot uh, easier which which these uh, functions no? uh, that uh, NumPy allows you to do so with this basic example how you you guys understand a little bit more about uh, NumPy now er, almost everything that you're going to do is handle uh, these arrays and you're going to uh, manipulate the arrays you're going to transform them uh, you can access them and you can um, manipulate uh, the data inside them and having them uh, in these ways uh, which different shapes and dimensions and all of that you will access them a lot easier so that's the purpose of NumPy to make your life easier so you can handle your data and you can do the stuff that you will need to do in your scientific uh, field for example so I hope you guys like this tutorial this uh, basic introduction if you did please uh, don't forget to click on the like button or to leave a comment I would really appreciate that and you can also subscribe to my channel if you would like more uh, videos of this kind so that was it and thank you very much see you later